This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar exploring Boris FX Continuum 2022.5. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. Particle Illusion is a free, powerful particle generator that runs on both Macs and Windows with hundreds of presets for 2D or 3D particles. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to get started using it. Let me show you how Particle Illusion works. This is the reminder that you want to download the free emitters. This is something you do want to do. Particle Illusion has effects which are grouped in categories like abstracts or backgrounds, creatures, emitters from the 2020 release and 2021 and 2022. Where would we be without particle systems that create fires and explosions and fireworks? Magic, nature, smoke. It's more like a lava flow, I think. Snow, space, also very good. Sparklers. <laughs> and that's just the category up here. Then we've got individual stuff down here that can then be tweaked. All of these are particle systems but they're adjustable particle systems. So although you can start with a preset, you can tweak it, change colors, change speed, change position, all kinds of stuff. Let me give you an example. By the way, Particle Illusion deserves its own webinar. There's so much we can do with this, especially if you're familiar with the particle systems inside Motion. Motion is a really, really good start, which we can take even further using Particle Illusion. And if you're on Premiere, Particle illusion will just blow your mind. It is amazing. So let's let's work, oh, let's look for a texture. I love textures, and just look at stained glass. To apply it, double click the icon. It shows up over here in the viewer, and we're going to grab this and drag it down and have it fill the space space bar to play. And look at wouldn't that be a cool background for an infographic? Sure, it would. Or let's look at another texture. Let's look at um, uh, now. Notice something else that's different. Neither Premiere nor Final Cut work with nodes for their effects. Resolve does, and I haven't really figured these out to be quite truthful. I select what I want to adjust. In this case, this is the background. And I can then make changes to it in this effect controls or the inspector setting where I can change all of these. If I want to get rid of it, highlight, hit the delete key, and I can add additional nodes. But like I said, I haven't truly figured it out yet. I have figured out how to adjust some of these, but not how the nodes work, which is okay. I don't have to know how the nodes work to be able to do creative work with it. If I wanted to switch over, let's let's just do an Aurora. We'll delete stained glass, highlight it, hit the delete key, double click the icon, hit the space bar to play it, and you'll notice nothing is playing. And that's because the animation is put at the position of the playhead when you double click it. So I gotta change the in by dragging this over here, reset the in, and now play it. And there's our Aurora. So you, one of the traps I run into is I've got the playhead way the heck over here and I add a new effect and it doesn't show up when I start playback because it adds it at the position of the playhead. Notice that the duration of my animation is 300 frames. This is the in, this is the out. I don't want to have something that long for today's webinar because I don't want to waste the time for that. So I'll just change the out and now I've got a 150 frame effect. There are three features inside Particle Illusion that can really add a lot of interest and organic real life to a particle system. And those are forces and deflectors and fluid dynamics. Let's pick something like pouring sand. I'll go with this one. Get rid of Aurora, highlight it, hit the delete key, double click pouring sand. This is the position of pouring sand up here. Notice the playhead is in the wrong spot. Drag pouring sand to bring it back. And now we'll just play it. And sand is pouring out of a pipe. I'm going to add a deflector. What's happening is, is that sand is hitting a roof. And now as I play it,
or if I hold the hold the option key down and click I can add a second control point and we'll put that right up here right there and go back and play it again And if I break the particles, they can sort of fall off like it's going through a sieve. This is why I didn't have dinner last night. I was working on this. I was giggling so much I couldn't see straight. The whole thing about particle illusion is there are so many options and so many different things you can play with. And the best part of it is the application itself is free by going to the BorisFX.com website, download the application, download the emitters, plan to give up dinner for the next couple of nights, and just have a wonderful time playing. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar exploring Boris Continuum 2022.5. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 338. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and Time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software, and we update it multiple times each month. For more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.